me. I'm Irish. I'm a leprechaun. What's going on, my movie friends? This is Tommy Knocker, the movie guy, coming at you. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Yes, if you're out and about, please have fun. Please stay safe. Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. A lot of people, a lot of horror fans are staying inside today on a Sunday, St. Patrick's Day. And there's a particular movie series maybe they're having a marathon of. I don't know. Leprechaun. Yes, the, the horror franchise starring Warwick Davis for pretty much the majority of them. The last two, he decided not to do. But um, <laughs> let's be honest, guys. Leprechaun, the franchise, is a basic joke. It is. It's it's a it's a fun little uh, horror series, not to take serious. And it went in all these different directions with the sequels. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the direction. But, but I mean, if any franchise is going to go into ridiculous, like, space and the hood and all these other ridiculous scenarios, I'm okay with it being the Leprechaun. Because it's a fucking Leprechaun, guys. You know? But when it's, it's Jason, even though I like Jason X and um, all these other ones, I'm not such a big fan of. Check out my last video. I did Leprechaun 4, which space horror movie that I think was the better of the three between Leprechaun 4 and space. Yeah, he went to space. Versus Hellraiser 4 versus Jason X. Check out that video. But today, guys, I, I'm just going to do a fun little video on St. Patrick's Day here. Which one of the sequels do I think is the best Leprechaun sequel? See, in my opinion, the original Leprechaun you know, from 1992, from Jennifer Aniston, was it 92, 93? That one to me is the best one. I mean, it's I like this. I like the setting. I like where they were. It was simple. It was. I mean, yeah, he did some ridiculous things. He's a leprechaun, but it, you know, it, it, it stayed in its lane a little bit, and it was simple. He was just trying to get them. You know, Jennifer Aniston's first movie. I like the cast. I like that setting. It was simple, and I liked it. And then the sequels got a little more crazy with it, which any franchise they do. So, uh, it spawned seven sequels. Now, one was kind of a remake with the WWE movie, The Origins. Even though it's part of the franchise, I have the box set here somewhere. It is part of the box set. I really never included Leprechaun Origins as a true Leprechaun sequel or anything to do with it. So, anyway. But... I picked three of my favorite Leprechaun sequels. I'm going to talk about it briefly. And which one do I think is the best Leprechaun sequel? So uh, the first Leprechaun sequel I think is the best one. I got to start with the, the first sequel, Leprechaun 2 from 1994, right? So let's look at the scores for Leprechaun 2. Uh, each one I'm going to check the scores out. But uh, 6% and 29% for Leprechaun 2. Yeah, this one's uh, a little... The plot's a little different. Um, in each movie, like, he is supposed to be the same Leprechaun, right? Yeah, we know it's Warwick Davis. But he is the same Leprechaun? Do we know that for a fact, guys? Comment if you don't. Know. Is he... I know his, his name in the movies, I, I think, is Lubden. L-U-B-D-E-N, right? Lubden? Lubden? I think that's his name. But they don't really say it that much in the movies. They don't call him by that name. Is he the same? Is he supposed to be the same leprechaun in every movie? You know what I mean? He keeps coming back. Is this just more leprechauns? I don't know. But anyway. For this one is his thousandth birthday. I like, you know, and it takes place in Ireland in the beginning. I would like a... That's one thing about the leprechaun sequels we never got. We never really got a, a, a leprechaun sequel that took place entirely in Ireland. I would have liked to have seen that. Maybe with more leprechauns. You know, maybe a little bit more. I would like to see that. Actually, in Ireland, too. Film in Ireland. Not in filmed in, like, New Mexico or some shit. Or South Dakota or whatever. Actually, Ireland. But they never did it. Um, but in the, beginning, the beginning of this, they're in Ireland. But it's a long time ago. A thousand years ago. It's his birthday. He has got this plan. If he... Uh, he's in love with this girl, the O'Day girl. She's a slave girl. When he's... Um, the father is a slave... And he will free him, but he will. He wants to marry the daughter, and if he sneezes three times, and she, or he, he, he makes her sneeze three times or something, and she sneezes, then it, and then that will be his bride. But if the father says bless you or God bless you, then the curse is broken. He has to wait another thousand years or something. I don't know. He does say it. The leprechaun kills the father. He can't marry her, so now he has to wait another thousand years to marry her into the family of the an ancestor of her or something. 
Yeah, so that's the so here you go, guys. That's the plot of Leprechaun Two. Uh, it takes this one takes place in L.A. Um, yeah, in you get the, the main. Let's go with the characters here, guys. The characters you have, you have Cody and Bridget, and the Cody runs a dark side tourist thing where they go around in a in a, in a hearse, you know, on a tour of people, and they go around houses in L.A. That I've I've known for bad things or whatever. Him and Morty. Morty's like is that, it's he's got this McFl George, like Marty McFly and Doc relationship. We don't know if it's his uncle. They just hang out. He calls him Morty. He doesn't call him Uncle Morty, I don't think. He just calls him Morty. They hang out, no questions asked. Okay. They have a business together. He helps them with a the business. Uh Morty is an alcoholic, a scam artist, you know, a con man kind of guy. Guy you don't really trust. So, yeah, and that girl, Bridget, who, by the way, listen, these are leprechaun movies. You don't have to have a huge acting resume to be in these movies. You don't have to be a great actor to be in these movies. But I'm going to say, of all the leprechaun movies, she is the worst. She is god-awful, guys. And I'll get into three in a little bit. And, well, we'll get into that a little bit. Because the main girl in part three, who was ten times better than her, she wasn't great, but... She ended up quitting acting after Leprechaun 3. Yeah, but this girl, she should have quit. I don't think she had a big job. I don't think she had a lot of acting gigs after this, but she was terrible, guys. I couldn't get into her. Cody got... The kid was fine. Marty was a good uh, comedy relief for the for the movie. There wasn't a whole lot of characters here that you get really behind. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, Marty, you had Ian. He was the guy that was trying to get on his girlfriend, you know. And then, yeah, that's really the main... Those are the main characters and... You get some cameos here and there from like Clint Howard, you know, he's in the in the hearse and the on the tour. You get Tony Cox, you know, from Bad Santa, he's in there. Uh so yeah, those are the main characters, Bridget and Cody. And as far as final guy, he's 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 okay. But as her she she's terrible. God awful. Terry Bell. The kills in Leprechaun 2 are fine too. Uh that's the thing with Leprechaun movies, they're not a huge kill count. That doesn't that doesn't what it's about, but it's the the fun of it all um i gotta say my two favorite kills is ian he thinks he was making you know he's getting it on with bridget you know and he thinks he's about to kiss her boobs and it's not it's a the leprechaun's behind it and he yep it's a fan and he gets the yep he gets that kill uh but i think my favorite kill is morty that's my favorite kill uh morty wishes for the gold he gets the gold he gets the gold <laughs> right into stomach yep so Leprechaun slashes it out of him. He kills that that way. So you gotta know with these kills, they're usually inventive. If it's gonna, if you think it's gonna work your way, and you make a wish, well, you know. Um, and uh, before yeah, then I like to start with some facts. Here's some Leprechaun two facts about the movie. Um, I don't know if this is true or not, guys. This is what I came up with in my research, but I heard. Uh, Jennifer Aniston, of course, turned it down to do a sequel. She started doing Friends. Friends started becoming, you know, a thing. She turned that down. She claims... Then I heard another story where she and everybody from the original movie said they were never, throughout the years, contacted for a sequel. So I don't know what to believe. Um, and uh, for the role of, her, of Bridget, supposedly Heather Lankenkamp, was as uh she didn't try out for the role but she was interested this was 1992 right uh, i don't know I, I i can't see heather lincoln camp at that point being in leprechaun i don't know she and uh denise richards that i believe she wasn't famous then denise richards heather lincoln camp at that time was a name she did already the elm street movies i mean she wasn't like hugely famous but i don't know her playing a young girl in, in Leprechaun? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. But Denise Richards, I, I do believe that one. And um, they wanted to film Leprechaun 2 and 3 back-to-back -back with Cody and Bridget in both movies. And they just went to do a different route with that one, thank God. Because I couldn't put up with Bridget for another movie. Wow. So, yeah. So, uh, Leprechaun 2. It's, yeah, it's it's fun. It's it's a fun... And, and another thing I noticed in the beginning when he comes out of the tree, right in the beginning of the movie, he comes across that bum, that vagabond, that old man, and he takes the tooth. That, I believe, is the same old man that first comes along the blob in the 1988 remake. What is this about this guy that always plays a bum in these movies that he's the first one that they come across? He doesn't die in this one, but damn, he dies in the blob. 
What is it about that man? Yeah, so. Okay, so the next sequel that I think is a worthy sequel of, of the franchise. You know, when I say these movies are good sequels, I don't know. That's almost like saying, what's the best, what's the best looking turd in your toilet? You know what I mean? So Leprechaun 3, let's look at the scores. Yeah, this one's go. got a Vegas theme. Vegas. 0% and 35%. The setting is Vegas. Yeah. Uh, pawn shop. The beginning is you're in a pawn shop and there, a guy brings in this bronze, the statue of the leprechaun and, and that's how it starts is trying to figure out how to uh, get him out of the the owner of the fucking... Throughout the first... I want to say, guys, maybe it's been a while, first half hour to 40, 40 minutes, I want to say in this first movie, the Leprechaun 3, the first half hour, I want to say, to 40 minutes, I swear to God, it seems that long, takes place in this pawn shop, back and forth, you know, between the main guy. But they keep showing the pawn shop, the owner, and was it Giuseppe, I forgot what his name is, the back and forth, like Looney Tunes things he has, it's almost like the Leprechaun was the Bugs Bunny and he was like Elmer Fudd, it did turn into that, no joke, he finally does up killing this guy, but it seems to go on a while, it does, he escapes, you got this, these the characters, you got Scott, you got Loretta, you got Tammy, she's the final girl. You got Cody, Scott, and Tammy are the final guy and girl. You have Loretta, who's played by Caroline Williams. You have some weird characters like Mitch, uh, Art, these mob guys. Well, it is Vegas, you know. They got these and Fazio, the magician guy. I enjoyed him. He was he was ridiculous and over the top. You know, the main girl Tammy, she's his assistant. He's a pervert. I, I dug it. I liked his character. Um. So next, the kills. Now the kills for Leprechaun 3, just Leprechaun 2, just more wacky. Kill count was low. Who cares? But my, the, the two that I really, really enjoyed was Loretta, you know, Caroline Williams. She was very skin deep. She was all materialistic. You know, she wanted to be, you know, so he made her lips bigger and, ex and her ass big and her boobs and she explodes. Uh, Fazio, the magician, he's cut in half. And then you have this really weird kill with Mitch and those bad guys with a robot woman involved. And it's just, it's just, it gets weird. It gets freaking weird, but it's entertaining and it entertains you. You know what I mean? Um, some facts about Leprechaun 3 I'll give out to you. Um, it was the first direct to film was considered. Oh yeah. This one was considered 3D. Yeah. This one was considered being in 3D. I mean... This was straight to video. This was, I believe, after Leprechaun 2, and they didn't make any money. The rest of the movies were straight to video, obviously. Um, but they really wanted to consider this in 3D, but I think they probably wouldn't have made any money. In this, I didn't know. I haven't seen this movie in quite a while, but there's... Uh, Lee, um, so the director of Night of the Demons 2 directed this. There's quite a bit of actors and cameos from Night of the Demons 2 in this, uh, in the background. Night of the Demons 1, I would probably recognize more, and Night of the Demons 2, not so much. But uh, yeah, so there's some facts about Leprechaun 3. It's Vegas theme. It's a Vegas theme. It got 0% though. Yeah, from... <laughs> come on. I mean, it's bad, but... Zero but Leprechaun 3 is a worthy sequel. It, it's fun, and it's better than the space ones, and it's better than Origins, and it's way better than the Hood ones, I think. I mean, Hood ones... <clears throat> I should say the first Hood movie is... Not that bad. It's it's not that bad. The second one was just unnecessary. I didn't know why they keep needed to go back there. Um, and the next and final sequel that I think is a worthy sequel is from 2018, the newest one, the one that just happened that happened to have Warwick Davis in it. Warwick Davis at this point in 2018 didn't want to do horror movies anymore. Not just Leprechaun movies. Horror movies in general. He didn't want to do any more. He has a son now. He's a family. He wanted to do more family-oriented movies. So, hey. And I didn't mind Willow. I didn't mind the Willow TV show on Disney+. Plus. I mean, it didn't have the same magic, but, I mean, I don't know. So, Leprechaun 2018, guys, got a 45% and a 72%. So, that's pretty damn high for, for Rotten Tomatoes for a Leprechaun movie. 45%. 72 percent from 2018 the plot in this one they're back to the area that from the original not really in real life not really but they did a pretty good job of making it look like this was filmed in south africa by the way a little tidbit yeah um so they're back at the original house from the first movie i believe the, mo the first movie was, was supposed to take place in north dakota right south dakota um it's a college and the girl in it is jennifer aniston's character tori 
her daughter. Uh, Jennifer Aniston's character, Tori, had, has passed on at this time. She died of cancer. She's there with her friends from college. They're there to greenify this house. This, this house is in the middle of fucking nowhere. They're there to greenify that house for their college sorority, fraternity, for a project, whatever. Really? <laughs> I love it. I love this shit. Um, yeah, and Ozzy is in it. This is the only Leprechaun sequel that has any... Uh, so the other sequels don't count. It's one of those movies, like the Halloween 2018 version, if they did all that. But, yeah, this is the only Leprechaun sequel that has any characters from the original. Like, any recognition. Not even, not even a name. They, they never mention names in the sequels. It's not that kind of movie. It, nobody cares about that. But I like horror sequels that have some of the same characters, you know, once in a while. It doesn't always have to be that way. It doesn't always have to have a new story. But eventually they do. Or franchises will eventually go back. Because that's the trend. You know what I mean? Go back to the OG somehow. So they do this. At least Ozzy's in it. Uh, Ozzy was a sentimental character, you know. He's slow. He, you know, he's in the original, he swallowed the gold coin. The leprechaun tried to kill him by taking out his thing from the belt buckle and slashing his stomach. And Ozzy didn't die. And we're like, whew. But... Ozzy gets it in this one, guys. So, he, yeah, he, he happens the water from the well. So, they reenact that scene. They did a pretty good job. It wasn't the same scene. They did a pretty good job. There's a there's there's bad CGI in this, and there's some pretty damn good practical effects in this, too. But they reenact that scene of the well. Ozzy's there years later. You know, he gave uh, Tori's daughter a ride. I believe her name is, uh, what's her name? Lila, Kate, Katie, Lila, whatever her name is. I'm bad with names. Um... Gives her a ride to that area. He's, you know, he's like, he doesn't want to be near there. The water happens to fall on him. The, the water from the well splashes on him. And later his stomach starts hurting. He needs to take a shit or something. Look like he had some Taco Bell. And uh, next thing you know, he's out in the woods and the leprechaun comes out of him. Yep. Ozzy. This is one of my favorite kills too. We'll get to the kills. But Ozzy finally dies. It's kind of sad, but it was his time. And yeah, it's not Warwick Davis guys in this. Let's go to the characters. The leprechaun in this is played by Lyndon Piro, is that his name? Porco, Lyndon Porco. He was fine. He did a good job, but he doesn't have the charisma. He doesn't have the personality of, you know, whatever. The, sh the showmanship of Warwick Davis. Not even close, but he still did a fine job. He did a fine job, you know. I, I, like, I didn't mind the look of him, you know. You know what's not Warwick Davis, and that's fine. It doesn't have to be. Just, just go with it. His time is done now. Um... Yeah, and he just had the most who cares characters of college kids. You know, it, it doesn't matter. Katie, Lila, Rose, Ozzy, blah, 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 blah. Sleepy, sleazy, dopey. It, does, it doesn't matter. They just, they're just there for the kills. And the kills, like I said, it's a combination of bad CGI. This is like, I think this was a sci fi original movie. A sci fi channel original movie, guys. Um, like I said, the Ozzy one, that's my favorite one. Just because of the sentimental, the sentimental reasons of it, because it's this character from the original, um, you know, his death that was my favorite. And then you get some cool kills with the sprinkler, you know, the blood squirting out of her head, and the solar panel cutting that kid in half, you know. But you know, it's this is pretty so, some pretty cool kills for a Leprechaun. These kills were cool, but they're like silly, like the other ones. You know what I mean? These these ones were like, damn, good kills. Probably some of the best kills in the franchise. Um. Some facts about this one I've already said is Warwick Davis didn't want to come back for it. He wanted, you know, he's a father, didn't, didn't want to do any more horror movies. This is filmed in South Africa. And the uh, the initials for the uh, the sorority for the house is AU, which stands for gold in the periodic table of elements. Little tidbit there. So the Leprechaun uh, franchise as a whole to me because i'm indifferent about it it's fun to put in and have a good time i got the box set somewhere i got it dirt cheap i want to pay a lot for leprechaun movies he doesn't have a lot of um merchandise you know i don't think NECA has gotten into the leprechaun you know characters yet i do have a leprechaun funko pop um I'm, i hope they make more leprechaun products I'm, I'm a leprechaun fan i am the the movies do go off but so do friday the 13th movies so do the halloween movies so does elm street a lot of movies do but this is a movie about a leprechaun after all. So. so I hope you guys are having fun. Drink plenty of green liquids. I know I will be. Have a good time. Stay safe. Oh, by the way, duh. What's the best sequel, guys? <laughs>
maybe I had that green liquid a little bit too early. So, in my opinion, what is the best sequel in Leprechaun is the one I just talked about. If you haven't seen it, watch it. The best Leprechaun sequel, guys, is the 2018 Leprechaun Returns. Yes, I believe it's a sci-fi channel original movie. Don't care. I ha you'll have a good time with it if you haven't seen it. It's a proper sequel. It is. It's not Warwick, but he's fine in it. It's good. It's got good kills. It's got Ozzy. He's even got a woman that does uh, Jennifer Aniston's voice over the phone, and she does a pretty damn good job of it. So. so there you have it. Leprechaun Returns. Check it out. It is the best sequel in Leprechaun. It is right there underneath the original. So there you have it. Tommy Knocker, the movie guy. Please like and subscribe, guys. Stab that notification bell. Keep drinking those green liquids, and now I am out.